Hi, me again, and just a quick little video of this because it wound me up a little bit when I saw this headline. Take a look at this. Katie Price escapes jail for booze and cocaine fueled crash on her sixth ban, making a mockery out of justice. Bloody right, that makes a mockery out of justice. If that was me, yeah, you know, I'd be in Nick now, wouldn't I? I'd be spending Christmas behind the bars where I belong, frankly, for that six times she's been banned. And how many times has she flouted the ban? Loads of times she's flouted the ban. And then she writes off a BMW, how she can afford it when she's claiming she's skin or she's going to Vegas or getting a 57th boob job this month. But she's skin, apparently. You know, but she crashes this BMW off her nut on Booze and Charlie and she still walks free. Why? Because she went to the Priory. But then she went to Vegas after the Priory. You're telling me she wasn't drinking in Vegas. How is it possible to go to Vegas and not drink? I've been four times and I don't remember any of the trips and I'm not that big a drinker. Really? But it's Vegas. You can't tell me she weren't drinking in Vegas. So the Priory was all just for show, wasn't it? To escape this. Um, oh God, it's wound me up. It's wound me up. Any normal person would be in Nick now, wouldn't they? Any normal person. Let's read on. An ex-cop said anyone else would spend Christmas in jail. Repeat offenders would usually face a minimum of 12 weeks behind bars. Yeah, she deserves every one of those 12 weeks. But because Price went to rehab and complied with a deferral, even while on holiday in Las Vegas, her sentence was reduced below the custody threshold. At Crawley Magistrates Court yesterday, District Judge Amanda Kelly admitted the public would be appalled and that Price deserved to be spending Christmas behind bars. But you're the district judge, isn't that your job? And if you know we're going to be appalled and you say she deserves to be behind bars, why didn't you give her a custodial sentence then? She added, your actions on that night were incredibly selfish. When you chose to get behind the wheel of the car that night, you showed no consideration for others. You could have killed someone's child, partner, parent or friend. Yes, you could. That is one of the most abhorrent crimes you can do, is drink driving, because you're not in control and you're cocky. As she is, obviously, rolling that BMW. Anything could have happened. And, you know, it's not the first time she's been banned or flouted the ban, is it? She won't learn. What's going to help her learn? Get her behind bars. Ah, oh, it's wrong, isn't it? Last night, police said they would try to lodge an appeal. And sign when Bridden, 51, whose daughter Miriam, 21, was killed by a drink driver, said, just because she's got money, she thinks she is above the law. She's always claiming she's skint, isn't she? All these boob jobs, holidays to Vegas, all this stuff she's got, and then she's claiming she's having to live in a hotel. I don't get it. Where's the money coming from? Where's the money coming from? The fact that she is already banned and then did it again should have been an automatic jail sentence. Could not agree more. Sign when, sign when. I can't pronounce that. Let me know in the comments how to pronounce that name. I, I apologise that I can't do that. Of Carmarthen added, if such lenient sentences are given out to celebrities and other people, it's not really a deterrent. No, it's not. She'll flout the ban again. Of course she will. It makes a mockery of the whole justice system. Superintendent James Collis, head of Rhodes Policing for Sussex Police and Surrey Police, said, that's a long business card he must have, eh? Today's sentencing, as the judge explained, could have and should have been much worse. We are now exploring whether we can appeal this sentence. Well, good. I hope you managed to appeal that sentence. Because that, ah, oh, mate. She was found slumped in the passenger seat by the man who smashed the window and dragged her to safety. Price was nearly twice the drink drive limit and told cops, I don't care, when her cocaine swab came back positive. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. She's got no respect for the law. She wants to do whatever she wants to do because she thinks she's above it because she's a nobody micro-celebrity with a plastic face. Ah, oh, Price was on her way to see her friend because she was lonely. Ah, oh, bless her. She's not got a phone. The former model only got a further two-year ban, which she won't agree to. She'll keep driving. Plus 100 hours of community service. Price must complete 20 rehab sessions and was ordered to pay court costs of £85 and £128 victim surcharge. Wow. Judge Kelly told her, You have one of the worst driving records I've seen. You're extremely lucky that the magistrates on a previous occasion chose to defer sentence. Your actions on that night were incredibly selfish. She should be banned for life. Banned for life. That way, if you ever see her in a car, you know she's breaking the law. She can't be trusted to drive a car. Ban her for life. This is ridiculous. Absolutely 
That's really wound me up, mate. I can't stand drink drivers, I can't stand her, and I can't stand people who think they're above the law because they're a minor celebrity. It all winds me right up. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below what you think about this because um, I'm going to have to go and have a cup of tea and calm down a bit because that's wound me up a bit seeing that headline. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the subscribe button, like button, all the buttons down there, but not the dislike button, it's a bad button. Don't press that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go calm down, have a cup of tea.